good evening me again in a somewhat dark environment I just want to share with you another testimony I'm not one that's very good at speaking of Afrikaans yet alone read it at times that I battle to read Afrikaans because the words are so long and I mispronounce sometimes the words. Now I actually I attend a Afrikaans church. Before COVID-19 we had prayer meetings and I would occasionally bring a short message but my Afrikaans is not that good. I understand it. I can bring a message from God led by His Spirit, but I read. I can't. Really, I battle to read the Afrikaans. Well, one evening, God spoke to me and He placed a message on my heart. But you know, we can be stubborn and God will rattle our world, will rattle us to carry out what He has commanded. And that evening, I was in the church of the God that placed the message on my heart, and I was listening, but I was restless, but I was also hesitant in bringing the message. And the pastor that was leading that meeting that evening, picked up in his spirit that I have something on my heart. He says, Colin, what's on your heart? You're holding something back. And he's Afrikaans as well. I said, no, it's okay. I wanted to bring a message, but I don't have the Bible with me. And on purpose, I left my Bible with the intentions of not reading. So he took a thick, old-fashioned Bible and placed it on my lap. And he says, Colin, God placed a message on your heart and you will bring the message tonight as you've been led by the Spirit of God. And I started to doubt and he says, Colin, where is your faith in God? I said, I can't read the Bible, Pastor. I can't read Afrikaans. He says, young man, where is your faith? Where is your faith in God? He's placed a message on your heart. And you will be bringing it tonight, he said sternly, but in a nice way. And he says, trust God. He says, open the Bible, read, and bring the message. We're waiting. And that day was there was about 30-odd, 40 people. I wasn't nervous about it. It's just that I can't read Afrikaans. And that evening, I opened the Bible. I read the scripture smoothly. I brought the message in Afrikaans smoothly. And it had an impact on those people that evening in that church. One can learn a lesson. Listen to God. For one, a few words can make a huge difference in people's lives. And after bringing the message, I could see and got some people on their knees. Others were confessing their sins and others were crying and weeping. The message had a huge impact on people's lives that evening. And he says, you see, young man, all you had to do was put faith in God and trust Him. Look how He is touching people now. What would have happened had you not carried out that message? And I could tell you that to this day, for me to bring a message in Afrikaans under the influence of the Holy, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, or under the influence of the Holy Spirit, I do it well, I do it smoothly. And it's not under my own strength or in my own strength, but it's the Holy Spirit who uses me to bring the message in Afrikaans. Ever since then, I've been able to read the Bible even fluently in Afrikaans. I have no more problems reading Afrikaans Bible, that I can say, 
give me an Afrikaans book to read, I battle. But when it comes to the Bible in Afrikaans, it's not a problem for me anymore. That is one book I can understand. And when I do bring a message, it is also in Afrikaans, because I'm in an Afrikaans church, I bring it just as smoothly. All I want to say now is this evening, with God, nothing is impossible. Just have to trust Him. God bless.